Hey, welcome to this video where we are going to talk about subscripting arrays. So in Swift, we manipulate arrays a lot. So for instance, it could be an array that holds some data, which are some integers. And when you have an array, the basic operation on it is to subscript the array in order to get one of its values. So for instance, with the array data, I can subscript it with the index one and I will get the second element of the array as you would expect, which is the value Q. But when we subscript an array, we must be careful because there is a real risk of making our app crash. For instance, let's consider that I am subscripting the array with an index that is outside its bounds. So for instance, the index five, if I run this code, the app will crash because there is no such index in the array. So if we want to do it safely, we need to wrap this expression in an if statement that will make sure that the index that we try to use is indeed inside the bounds of the array. And what I want to show you is that it's possible to encapsulate this testing logic into what Swift calls a custom subscript. So let's take a look at what it looks like. You can see that here I have pasted an extension on collection and in this extension I define what Swift calls a subscript which is a method that we will be able to invoke using the brackets on the array. So the argument of subscript is an index and the result is an optional element meaning that as you can imagine if the index is outside the bounds of the collection we will return nil and if the index is in the bounds of the collection, we will return the value associated with the index. And the way to implement this method is pretty straightforward. First, we do a test. We test whether or not the indices of the collection contain the index. If they do, we call the actual subscript, the one that can make the app crash, but won't because we've made our test. And if the index is not inside the indices of the collection, we just return nil. So now we can just try and use this subscript so now, as you can see, I'm going to try and access the index five of the array, except that now I am using my custom subscript, which you can see because I have added the external name for the argument safe. And if I run my code, then the app won't crash. Instead, the call to the custom subscript will just return nil. Thank you.